In the last video, we studied about the term generation and programming languages. We will now briefly look at each generation to get a clear picture of the characteristics starting with the first generation language. We all know that computers were developed specially for computing. Hence, first generation language was developed to give numbers to computer to carry out computations on them. First generation language is also called binary language. A binary language refers to a language of zeros and ones. However, this language presented many problems, such as to communicate with the computer, one needs to memorize all the binary digits and their corresponding words, making it very hard and time consuming. Thus, the language was not user friendly. And this also meant that very few people were able to use computers. This led to the development of a simpler and easy language to address the problems presented by binary language in the first generation. Thus, the second generation language used mnemonic operation codes and symbolic addresses instead of binary words. For example, instead of 010101, a user could simply write add. This was relatively simple and made it easy to remember. Second generation language was easy as compared to first generation language. But it was still difficult and was limited in terms of functionality. Hence improvements had to be made. This paved the way for third generation language. The third generation language was very easy to use as compared to first and second generations. Programmers were able to write programs in English. Thus, the number of computer users increased. Third generation languages had improved functionality and flexibility. However, these had to follow some rules of usage. Hence, were based on procedures. They also needed a compiler. What do you think a compiler is and what is it used for? Well, to understand this better, let's take an example. Suppose two people who speak and understand totally different languages, for example, French and English, want to communicate. What would they do? The perfect solution to this problem will be finding a person who knows both languages, a translator. Hence, a compiler is a program that converts 3GL to 1GL. This program runs on a computer. In other words, a compiler converts instructions written in English to binary language to be processed by the computer. As we have discussed, third generation languages are easy to use but are based on rules and procedures. This led to the development of fourth generation languages. These languages do not follow any sequence or procedure. They enable computer users to specify what computer should do without specifying how computer should do it. And finally, there was a recent introduction to the fifth generation languages. These languages are much more simplified, enabling even non-professional users to program on computers. They are more like normal English language. So, we are working on improving the programming languages so that it becomes easy to use for everyone. Thank you.